Okay, our first is today, you know, um, um, spoke about um, you know, the death of the desire, and um, we talked about Christmas, and I felt like ah, a stray bullet just hit me. Bah. Really? <laughs> Well, you know, I hope you put on your bullet <laughs> Yes, yes, I had it, I had it like that. Alright, so, and I, I just learned to ruminate and I feel like let's have a talk about this, mm. that a lot of time, parents just go all out there to buy clothes for children, mm. and cook food, you know, buy yeah. chicken, buy goods and dress like that, but they don't talk about the meaning of Christmas. The main thing. Yes, so I feel like um, um we should talk about it, out that it's very important that mm. you sit your children down and you explain to them the, the, the reason for the season. The yes. reason for the <laughs> for season. The season. Yes. Like that. And um, don't just tell them, oh, Jesus was 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 given back to on Christmas Day. No, like you know, you have to explain. Some parents don't even know all these things too. So really I want us to, to hear from the apostle himself okay. like that. Uh, so um what's up with Christmas? Like how the Christmas came about so very short why not. Alright, so I should not preach. My wife knows that I love preaching. Preaching is my life. Teaching is my life. All right, Christmas came about because the, the world is in a bad situation as a result of the cause. Adam and Eve, they fell. As a result of that, God placed cause on the man, God placed cause on the woman, God placed cause on the earth. And now, <laughs> as a result of that, the whole world is in a bad situation, a harmful situation. And the only thing I can deliver, the only person I can deliver us is Jesus Christ. A God has to come in human form, a full God and a full man, to do what to deliver men from destruction. And that was why the birth of Jesus came to be. And that's why we are celebrating Christmas, commemorating the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ, the full God, the full man that has come to deliver the man from all oppression of the devil. So when next you celebrate Christmas, um, try to try to try to uh, remind yourself that uh, we are not just eating, you are not just you know buying clothes, but uh, we are actually appreciating God because He came down to actually save us to deliver you know us from the oppression of the devil through the birth of the Son, that is Jesus Christ, the Word of God. Now let us now go on the other side again. Do you know there mm -hmm. are people that don't celebrate Christmas? I mean, they don't eat, mm -hmm. like they fast. And um, the fast, they do it on Christmas because they feel like um, they want to be sober. Now, mm. so now, how do we bring a balance to that? Mm. Oh, like I'm not going to say they are what they are doing is wrong, and I'm not going to say what they are doing is right. Fasting is good, it wisely, physically is good, spiritually it is good. So, choosing to fast on Christmas Day is never an issue. It's what you choose to do um, on Christmas Day. Now, the part I'm trying, I'm trying to talk about is. They now, they now kind of um, see others that celebrate it as though they are not, um, they are not um, doing the right thing. Yeah, yeah, that's that's also wrong. No, like no, I, I was telling somebody last week that we must be, we must be careful the way we perceive people in our heart. The Bible says, "Cause is a man that calls, that calls a, a bad man good, and cause is a man that calls a good man bad." So the fact that you don't eat on Christmas Day, that one does not mean you see others that are eating on Christmas Day as, as if they are doing the wrong thing. And you that you eat, celebrate, kill chicken, eat rice on Christmas Day, it's also bad for you to see somebody that are not eating or this thing on Christmas Day. The most important thing is that everybody should just know that Jesus Christ was giving birth to to do what to come and save and deliver us from all oppression of the devil. If those people that are not eating and they are fasting on Christmas Day, they believe that Jesus Christ was giving birth to you, was a full God, he was a full man, he came to deliver people from all oppression of the devil, and that he died on the cross of Calvary. If they believe and they are fasting, they are doing this on Christmas Day, they are not wrong. And we that we eat, I will definitely am going to eat on Christmas Day. Come on, don't try me. I'm gonna eat rice, I'm gonna eat chicken, I'm gonna drink drinks. But I don't drink strong drink because it's not good. But I just make sure I celebrate Christmas in a good way, in a good mood. And that one does not sleep. I'm also wrong. Do you get it now? Alright, yeah. so um I want us to quickly start one part again. Okay. Hmm. The people that use Christmas Day to do to commit immorality mm -hmm. let us come to you. Because I remember hmm, many years ago when I was still a young teenager. 
Mm. And the Christmas Day celebration for me, after the eat, you go to church. So there's this um, concert used to go to you know, in the evening like that. Okay. That is how one man, that one brother was trying to say, you know, he wants, he wanted to take me out like that. And we're going to go out to chill, you know, like that, like that. Oh boy, I was tempted because I felt like, oh, I'm a big girl now. Let's, you know, go out to like that. When I sat down, I tried to analyze, I'm like, oh, this brother wants to do something else, you know, like that, like that. You know, I... People like some people don't see this thing wrong. They feel like, mm. you know, it's Christmas, you know, and um, everybody's kind of celebrating so, you know, like, um, let us just actually, you know, do committing right there. Mm. So now, what do you have to say about that? You know, like, um, people commit evil every day. Mm. Either we commit evil, we commit evil, whether it's on Christmas Day or it's not on Christmas Day. The, the mind of the person is corrupt. The person wants to commit evil. He, he's just saying, that, okay, Christmas time is an opportunity to do what? To at least to 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 graduate, to take his, his his corruption to the next level. And now we need to know as as human beings that the time of joy, when we are rejoicing, the devil sometimes can come in and take advantage of that. And take advantage. Yeah. Let's say you are rejoicing, you are rejoicing, yeah. you are rejoicing, you are in peace. And that's why UNESCO says that when you are in peace, prepare for war. You see, I wanted to say that that okay. a lot of times they want to maximize that moment because of. Everybody's just um, all out, you know, like they're kind of happy like that. So, mm -hmm. even like that, they don't just come. So, a lot of times, if you are not careful, we just end up lose guard because there's no like, like for me, too. The thing was, like on a normal day, if I come on a normal day, if I, it would have been a no no for me. Mm. But because of you know, the mood, you happiness, happiness everywhere, it's like, you know, like, we're eating chicken, so yeah, like right. that, like that, like that. So, if not for God, I'll just you know, lose mm -hmm. guard like that. So, that's 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 the devil. Take for example, you said we are told that in the days and the time that kings go for war. Most uh, David was at home. You understand? Because of that easiness. Because he was supposed to be at war, but he, he was relaxed. He was, and while he was meandering, working on the ass, on on his ass, top, he saw Bathsheba dating <laughs> naked. And you know what? He said, "Bring her to me." And so the devil sometimes tries to use our happy days to do what to track us to to use our emotions against us. So the fact that so on Christmas Day we must. Give ourselves sense that the fact that it's Christmas Day, that one does not mean I should lose my sense of judgment, my sense of value. The most important thing is that we appreciate God for sending His Son Jesus Christ to come and die for our sin, and that that should not be an occasion to now go deep into the sin that Jesus Christ was celebrating has come to deliver us from. So whatever you do on Christmas Day. That is now bringing you into what the person you are celebrating has come to call us out of. You know? What about people that they want to celebrate Christmas but they don't have the resources to celebrate it and they want to go and borrow, you know, like to buy, borrow to buy clothes, to buy food. So people will go in like as to go and steal other people's chicken or fowl, oh, right. <laughs> like that, just to feel the mood of Christmas. So, what about those people? You know, what you just need to learn is you don't have to do beyond yourself you understand when you are celebrating christmas if all you can afford is cassava grapes which you call gary come on do it with joy the most important thing is you remember you are commemorating the death of the lord jesus christ so don't be under pressure to, to, to you are not in competition with nobody do you get it now you are not in competition you say the bible says godliness with contentment is what is great day it's great day so, if the clothes you have to put on was what you wore last year Christmas, come on, put it on, iron it, make it look good, iron it, put it on, and do it, and go rejoice in the presence of God. And you know what, let me shock you, when you go to church on Christmas Day to go thank God, you understand, Jesus Christ is not going to look at you and say, ah, this was the clothes you, you, you wore last year. No, not interested. What he is interested in is your heart. Have you actually made room for Jesus in your heart? That's the most important thing. So don't be under any pressure and teach your children contentment right now. Let them know whether there is Christmas clothes or there is no Christmas clothes. They should be content. They should rejoice. Whether there is whether there is Christmas shoe or there is no Christmas shoe, they should also what rejoice. Teach them contentment. You yourself be content. Don't be in competition with nobody. How will life be like when all these Mr. Suits so bought Christmas clothes and Christmas shoe for their children? And me, I cannot. You are in competition with nobody. Nobody. Don't be under prayer for anything. All right. Yeah. So um, there's this um, this normal, you know, post comics okay. I used to come around December. That ah, December is coming. All those people abroad, you know, all those all those men soon like yeah. um, 
they'll be coming back home i know yeah. they'll come and uh, they want to you know be sweet sweet talking the ladies and the rest like that after christmas like they prop they will you know like they, they will jack up. <laughs> Like that. So what I just say about that is, ladies, don't lose guard. Yeah, um, like what my husband said, um, don't come and start um, entangling yourself with the same thing that Jesus came to actually deliver you from. So this, you are not a Christmas gift to anybody. <laughs> not at all. In fact, the only person that can wrap herself up, you know, look for all this wrapping, this thing, and wrap herself up and say, I want to present myself as a gift, is my wife. And that person, you have to present herself to who? To me. You know, Boxing Day is the next day. When you are talking about Boxing Day, which is the 26th of December, it's not the time that they punch each other. Like, you know, that's the time that you box give to give to your loved ones. You understand? That's what I mean. So, my wife, come on, buy a pin, this wrap yourself, present yourself to me as a gift on Boxing Day, the next day. You know, the next day yeah. of Christmas. All right. So what we are just trying to say, you are not a Christmas gift for anybody. Don't allow anybody to just use you and jump you. You are not a Christmas gift. Come on. You yeah. are the creator of dignity. Yeah. So well, one of the um the importance of this video is to mm. debunk some of the norms, the customs that yeah. are attached to um, celebrating Christmas. So some people, sincerely speaking, some people see it as a, as an as an as an opportunity, or maybe like um. And I've been to you know go out, have fun like the wrong way. Like I mean, I I grew up knowing a lot of people like that. Once it's Christmas, they feel like, eh, I want to make my hair like that, I want to dress to kill so that at least I can uh, a big fish can catch me, you know, like that, like that. No, like you know, you have to actually change the rules. And I got in again as parents to please um make sure that you enlighten your your children on the reason for the season and then the days that you don't have enough to buy ah see don't start what you cannot you know continue like that because i remember one christmas when i was growing up my dad used to buy clothes buy clothes like christmas and new year so mm -hmm. ah, the budget used to be more too like if we write everybody's clothes like, like over 150k like that because we had we had a lot of things with us you know and there was one time I just, my, you know my dad just said like I'm not buying Christmas clothes again. That's my daddy. <laughs> That's my daddy. It is shock us. It shocked me. Like, boo boo boo. I'm yeah. like, ah, all my friends were putting out Christmas clothes. Man, hmm. Ah, it was not easy. Yo. Maybe I have to like improvise, go and look for this thing. You know, after then, what I used nice to do is before Christmas, if I saw my clothes, I would save it. So I just keep it like I'm not this. Going to I'm not going to wear it. This is not Christmas. But after a while, I just kind of grew past it like that. I just feel like it's very important that uh, what you cannot really keep up with, you know, you don't feel like that. Yes, let them know the importance of Christmas. And then as a family too, don't just go to church and just come back and just eat, you know, like, you know, you can actually um, talk to your children and you guys should, you should talk about the importance of the season. Then yes, so that um, so that when they grow up, they will not depart from not depart the from way. It. Yeah. So, do you want to say anything to wrap up this section? Alright, it's Christmas. Christmas is a time of joy. Christmas is a time that we we'll rejoice that there is hope for us. You know, the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ gives us hope that we are not going to die in our sin and that eternally we are going to live forever with God. So it was the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ that first Christmas morning was the world that gave us hope that we are not going to die in our sin. So, we need to do what we need to do that we have. So I wish you Merry Christmas, Christmas and, and a Happy, Happy New Year, year in advance. advance. Don't worry, we'll be doing end of the year praise on our King FM 105.7 on Christmas Day. It's going to be at 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. You can't afford to miss it. You no, know, my wife will be there. My wife will be there. My wife will be there. She will be there. Probably. In fact, she's the mother of the day. I'm the mother of Christmas. <laughs> you do that. So, and trust me, I'll be there too. Adiki Jesu Family Worldwide will be there. Rosalyn Degbe also will be there. I'm a rich comedian. I like that man. I like. I just like him. Mm. And he will also be there. So, the thing, a time that you can't afford to miss. So, stay tuned. So, working FM 105.7. Stay tuned to join this Success TV at that hour of 9 to 10 a.m. on Christmas Day. I'm telling you. You're going to like it. You're going to love it. So once again, wish you Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bye bye.